Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another video for you guys. It is finally here, guys. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get into now. We have our first official look at the new Superman suit, Tyler Hecklin Superman, for the upcoming Superman and Lois, coming to the CW next year. Here it is. Oh my gosh. Look at this suit. Now, I literally saw the tweet come out, I think, 13 or 14 seconds when I loaded on Twitter. I'm like, holy shit. And I freaked out, responded, this looks awesome. And uh, yeah, so let's look at this damn thing. So first things first, I kind of noticed, first of all, I like I like the new suit. I think it looks great. I also kind of noticed it feels kind of Photoshop-y a little bit. Like at, at certain points I'm looking at, I'm like, eh, it looks kind of like it's Photoshop. But at the same time, I think that it was just them doing like some sort of like color correction and making it look a certain way. I'm not really sure. But uh, there's been some photos that Candograph's posted that were really blurry and kind of far away. We saw a kind of a glimpse of this. But seeing it now in this HD quality, I like it a lot. Uh, first things first, of course, you can tell the S is way smaller. It seems at least smaller and more, you know, not like over enlarged like the other one, which we'll look at in a second because I do want to do a little bit of comp comparison. The clasp, essentially like those gold clasps on each side, those are completely gone. They were holding the cape. Now they're just on the shoulders going back. I like the redesign of the belt too. I like the fact that they didn't just do what Supergirl did in terms of like just kind of copying exactly what Supergirl did. They kind of went a little bit different uh, direction with the belt and all that. Uh, but let's look at the uh, color correction, uh, not color correction, sorry, the the uh, the old suit. I don't know what I'm thinking. Like my, my head is all over the place today. It really is. So here's the original suit. The S is way too big, but they have openly said this and I kind of, I, I should have really thought this, but it, it makes sense. This suit was not made for a full season run of a show. It was made for special uh, events, crossover events, special, like, you know, for him to come back as a guest character. But this wasn't meant for a full season run, so they had to come up with a new suit. And I like the fact that they really went all out. Now, I want like, it looks, based off this, because this, this, of course, a behind the scenes shot from, I think, Elseworlds. Because um, I was trying to find a really good uh, picture to kind of compare to. And the thing is, too, you see the boots are kind of cut off in this image. The boots are cut off completely in this, as far as I can tell. I haven't found a version where the boots are shown, so they're kind of hiding that. Not really sure, but I'm guessing they look better than the ones from this image. Um, but yeah, I think the thing is, too, the cape looks like it's a different texture. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks a little different. I'm not really sure if I'm crazy, but it looks like the cape is different. You can tell the belt is, I like the redesign of the belt way more. Like that belt, it's okay. It's not great though, but I like the design of that. Um, and you can tell obviously the S looks completely different, uh, definitely smaller and, uh, you know, more um, in line with the suit. Like as if it feels like it's too big, <laughs> it feels like it's way too big. Cause I guess they were just trying to make it different than a Melissa Benoist's Supergirl. Because of her original, uh, her design or whatever. Um, but yeah. So, I think it looks pretty good uh, in terms of a redesign. You can tell that, the, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if the texture is different for the actual overall design of it. Uh, in terms of what uh, material they used. Because um, looking at this here, uh, it it looks kind of the same. But I'm not really sure because I think they're using a new, stu a new studio, a new place to make these suits. For uh, the Arrowverse stuff, and so I think that this is probably a different design. Um, look, I'm trying to see other differences too. Um, I'm not really seeing too much differences besides the main thing, which is the cape and the emblem and the belt. Um, but I wish I could see those boots so I can really compare because the boots for Superman in the in this in this not good. <laughs> it wasn't really that good. But luckily they didn't show it that much, so it wasn't like a big ah like. I don't know, the, the boots just seem kind of like a weird design to me, personally. Um, but yeah, I, I I, I'm really excited to see this in action. I'm really excited to see this in motion, to see the actual footage of it in the show, um, because it looks really good, in my personal opinion. I think they really did a pretty good job. And they were hiding this for a bit. Like, this was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago, from what I understand. And they just kind of kept delaying it for different reasons. I'm not really sure. Because around the time they were going to reveal this, they revealed the um, Ryan Wilder Batwoman images. And then I think it was supposed to come out some other time and then something else dropped or they just delayed it for some reason. Like they've been holding on to this apparently for a couple of weeks, this post or this image. Um, and they just waited. So I'm not really sure. But uh, like like the redesign, I think it looks really, really good. Um, and I can't wait to see it in action, in action because I'm excited for the show. There's some people that are not excited at all. 
I personally am excited for the show to see what they do in terms of uh, two teenage uh, boys. Apparently, I don't know if it's confirmed, I think that it's been heavily rumored for a while that one will have his abilities, his, you know, basically being half Kryptonian, and the other, the other son won't. So it's going to be kind of like where one son can literally carry on the legacy and one can't. Um, so I, I wonder if that's, if that's truly happening, that's going to be really interesting. Cause I think that would be a nice dynamic between the two brothers. Not really sure. Uh, but I'm overall, I'm excited for the show. I'm excited to see what they do with it. Um, because for a while people have been asking a Superman show, it's been rumored for years they were doing a Superman show, but now that we officially have it, I'm curious to see how they're going to handle it. And uh, with this, I think this is a good first step in terms of truly marketing the show because now like for the most part, I've been seeing people respond to this online mostly positive responses, which usually when there's a new suit reveal for anything Arrowverse or in the case of like any DC TV or Marvel stuff, it's, you know, it's kind of in the air how people are really going to respond to it. But, uh, I think this is pretty good. A good first step for the marketing of Superman low. So anyways, guys, that's the video. What do you guys think of the overall suit? I think this looks way better than this, but I overall still felt this was okay. But understanding now that this was created just for crossover events and special comebacks for the character, not for a full season run. It makes sense. And I think they did a pretty good job at designing this suit. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.